Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl with Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. And uh, yeah, I've I've got I've got some stuff on because we have the NBA is back. Uh, opening night, we'll be talking over both those games, and then we got two hockey games to talk to you guys about. So we look over Lakers, Nuggets, uh, Suns, Warriors, and then for hockey, we'll look over the Canes and Lightning, and then the Stars and the Penguins. Um, before we jump into it, all of our plays will be up on the site, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. One week pass, all sports, $70. NBA is about to get into full swing. I'm super, super pumped for it, ready for a big year, and uh, let's, let's, let's get into that. And make sure you guys are also following Earl Sports Bets on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. All of that. We appreciate it. Let's jump into it, and we'll go and look at the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the defending NBA champion, Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets are five-point favorites at home with a total of 228 in, uh, in this one. And normally, my way of doing this is to fade the team raising the banner. That has not worked out the past couple of uh, games. So I'm going to just scoot away from that for a little bit. And instead, I'm going to grab the under. I think this one's going to be more of a defensive game, a little bit of a slower game coming out. Banner raising for the Nuggets. I think they're going to get off to a little bit of a slow start. So if you're going to go off to the Lakers, maybe first quarter, first half type of deal. I see this game going way under. It's going to be the first one to 105 points wins this game. I do think the Nuggets win. I, I do think they start off 1-0. Um, not laying the five points on them on opening night. I'm not touching the Lakers. We'll be grabbing the under, 228 in that one. We'll head over to the Suns and the Warriors, who are also going to be playing. This one's the later game. Suns, sorry, Warriors, one-point favorite at home with a total of 234.5. Now, I will say, originally in, when the offseason started, I'm like, all right, I'm going to be fading the Suns every single game. Um, they picked up a bunch of players to because I didn't like their bench. They picked up a bunch of players to help out with their bench. That being said, I'm, I'm still not betting on them the first game. I'm on the Warriors, minus the 115, on the money line. This team was elite at home last year. They were awful on the road. At home to start off the year, Clear Paul is, is with the team now. I'm not sure how I'm liking that. Um, I do think the Suns will end up being a lot better of a team than the Warriors, but Warriors at home, short price. Give me the Warriors to start off the season. Let's go over to the ice, which I know has 16 games going tomorrow. I picked out two that I liked. Uh, Canes are minus 115 with a total of six and a half. And um, one thing I'm going to grab, until it fails, I'm grabbing the over. Um, the Canes have gone over in every single game. You look at their scores, five to three, six to five, six to three, six to three, seven to four, six to four. This is a team that's just constantly going over the total. This Hurricanes defense is not good. On the opposite side, you get the Lightning, who are running a backup goalie because Andre Vasilevsky is out for at least two months to start the year. They have not been good. They're 3-1-2 uh, and two to the over. Hurricanes 6-0 and oh to the over. I'm going to keep betting that until, uh, until they stop doing it, but I don't see that happening in this game. I could easily see this one being a 4-3, to 5-3, six, like 6-4 six to four type of game. Give me the over. I also do lean lightning in that one. Um, final game we'll talk about is the Stars and the Pens. Uh, the Stars are minus 115 with a total of six and a half. Um, you got the Stars starting off the year 3 0 oh, and 1. You got the Penguins starting off 2 and 3. It's just, it just seems like a weird line. It just really does. I'm taking the Pens at home at a short price. I just think it's a good spot for them. You just got, I know you just got Dallas coming off of a loss. Um, sorry, they come. They came off of a win um, in OT against Philly. Um, I forgot the loss to uh, Vegas was their second game of the year. Um, so, and then you get them to travel across. The, it just seems like a weird spot for them. Um, I, I like the Pens in this one. I'll take the minus the 105 against the Stars. Those are your four free picks for this one. Once again, all of our plays, and I know Nick will have five to seven plays up in hockey tomorrow. Boom, oh, right there, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. Um, and make sure you guys are following Earl Sports Bets on all social media platforms. Recap time. NBA is back. We'll take the under in the Nuggets game. We'll take the Warriors on the money line. And then uh, NHL will take the over in the Canes game. And we'll take the Pens on the money line. That's going to do it for this edition of Ball Out with Tim Earl. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck.